MLB The Show welcomes you to this edition of Major League Baseball. Leads to bring that one down. Swing and a miss. Great athletic play to get it. Dives and makes the catch. Be alive. Motor police parade. Be alive. Motor police parade. He took away a home run. He's got it. Oh, look at this. Oh, gets him in the first. He shade. made the Since catch. In the Took him shade. out. Wow. The first season here hosted a world championship team, so you can imagine how eager fans will be to see what's in store this year at New Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The site for this afternoon edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, we'll have a rematch from the World Series of 2006, as it'll be the Detroit Tigers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler are by my side. And Dave, we turn to you. What's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, we got ourselves a marquee pitching match up here, so we could be looking at a real duel here. I think the key is going to be getting a run or two on the board in the early going because they almost certainly will be hard to come by. All right, Dave, thanks. And we'll hear from Rex as we get going. But first, New Era Cap takes us to the starting lineup for the defending American League champion, Detroit Tigers. Leading things off is the young center fielder, Curtis Granderson. After that, Carlos Guillen, the fine shortstop. Gary Sheffield bats third and plays left field. In the fourth spot, the dangerous right fielder, Maglio Ordonez. Pudge Rodriguez bats fifth. He's behind the plate. After that, new first baseman, Sean Casey. Placido Polanco is the second baseman. He bats number seven. After that is Brandon in. She'll be over at third. And on the mound, batting ninth, the veteran southpaw, Kenny Rogers. And on the mound to stare him down, former Cy Young Award winner, right-hander Chris Carpenter. Carpenter was obviously a key figure in the Cardinals' World Series run last year as he finished second in the circuit in ERA and topped things off with eight innings of three-hit ball in Game 3 of the World Series. And the Cardinals behind him will look like this defensively. Standing in his leadoff man, Curtis Granderson, and we are ready for baseball from St. Louis. Leading off, center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle, and that's in there, a base hit. So the leadoff man is on here to get this one underway. Good job of hitting right there to open up the game. Let's see if they decide to put him in motion. Carlos Guillen will dig in here. The batter, shortstop, Carlos Guillen. And that misses for ball one. Down the line, and just foul, says the umpire, who is right on top of it. And he goes down to get the fastball there, but I don't think he got all of it, as this is out to deep center field. Edmonds is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Well, this is actually pretty routine compared to some catches Jimmy makes. He takes the best routes to balls in the air of anyone in the game. That's pretty. So a runner on first with one out now. And we'll see if they go after the free-swinging Sheffield here. The batter, the fielder, Gary Sheffield. Fouled back. Ah! 
Foz, now the pitch. And, oh boy, strength against strength there as Sheffield misses the fastball, 0-2. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. You'll see this coming in from just behind the catcher, and Sheffield just can't get that bat on called in time as he swings right through this one. That was a good pitch. So a runner at first with two away, and we'll see how they pitch the dangerous Maglio Ordonez. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Line softly to the right side. Foul. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. He'll try again, one, two. Hit hard, but foul. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Edmonds will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. No score. And the starting lineup for the Cardinals will read like this. David Eckstein will lead things off and be the shortstop. Left-handed hitting Chris Duncan bats second out in left. The three-hold, of course, the former MVP, Albert Pujols, over at first. Batting fourth, the outstanding third baseman, Scott Rowland. After that, it's the veteran center fielder, Jim Edmonds. Then comes Juan Encarnacion out in right. Next is Yadier Molina behind the plate. Following him is Adam Kennedy. He's at second base. And on the mound and batting ninth, the former Cy Young Award winner, Chris Carpenter. And they'll square off against an all-star three years running, left-hander Kenny Rogers. At the age of 41, Rogers put together a dream season in 2006 as he won 17 ball games, started the All-Star game, won his fifth Gold Glove Award, and led the Tiger staff into the World Series. All in all, not too shabby for a veteran pitcher. A look there at the Tigers defensively. They're, of course, led by the 12-time Gold Glove winner, Pudge Rodriguez, behind the plate. There is the shortstop, David Eckstein, as he'll lead things off now in the home half of inning number one. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Swing and a liner. And Eckstein's got himself a leadoff single. Chris Duncan will get his first cuts here. Now batting, the fielder, Chris Duncan. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And that's where you want to keep things early in this ballgame. Pound that outside part of the plate. Check from Rogers. Now the pitch. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate. 0 and 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So a runner at first with one man gone, and here comes Pujol. Fastball in there for a called strike. 
Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. Runner at first here, one man out. One and one. And it's worth keeping in mind here that the Gamblers got one of the better pickoff moves in baseball. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Ordonia is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and here comes Roland. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Swing and a ground ball to first. On to first with it is Casey, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. It's on to inning number two now in St. Louis with no score. Pudge Rodriguez leads things off now in the top half of the second. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Always a key to get a hit with that first pitch strike. It sounds simple, but that's the most important pitch in any at bat. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Doesn't matter how hard you throw it, a well-placed heater's still the best pitch in baseball. And look where this thing is, right on the inside corner. That's a tough pitch. Sean Casey will be the batter. Now batting, first baseman, Sean Casey. Hit hard to the right. And this is going to be a foul ball. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Placido Polanco will get his first shot at it here. The batter, second baseman, Placido Polanco. And he starts him out with, well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. One and two. Man, he looked like he was playing cricket on that one. Now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing nothing. Jim Edmonds will start things off in the bottom of the second. Here's the first pitch to him right there for strike one. Who oh, has him looking silly here? It's 0-2. 
And this is hit well towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. Good job there using the whole field. This thing's on the outer half of the plate, and he just takes it the other way. Right through the old 5.5 hole for the knock. Juan Encarnacion digs in at the plate. Now right fielder, Juan Encarnacion. And here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball there from Rodgers as he moves ahead, nothing and one. This guy's been around the block a time or two. He knows what happens if you start falling behind hitters. And a swing, and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Another 0-2 coming. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And he makes the catch on the move as he's able to hang with this one for the first out. Yadier Molina will be the batter. Yadier Molina. And he lays off there 1-0. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. The 1-0 pitch. And this ball will be chopped foul. And he takes a cold strike too. And that misses two and two. And a fastball here is swung on and lifted in the air to left. Sheffield is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Boy, left that fastball up that time, but he got away with it and got him to fly out. Adam Kennedy steps in now. First pitch to him. Full one. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. Here's a ground ball to first. On to first with it is Casey, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We played two full, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Brandon Inge ready to go here as we begin the third. Leading on, third baseman, Brandon Lays off 1-0. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. In for a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. One away. That's seven in a row he set down, Matt. It looks like he's starting to settle in. Kenny Rogers will take his cuts now. And now a swing on the first pitch, and there's a ground ball for Kennedy at second. Throw on to first, and Carpenter's dealing now. Two away. 
first time through the lineup, and he's looked awfully strong. Just one hit against him so far. He's got his A game working here. Curtis Granderson will dig in. He singled his first time around. The batter, center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Well, he's trying to be aggressive on the first pitch here, and it definitely pays off. They think they can sneak one by him and get ahead, but obviously he had other plans. Carlos Guillen will stand in. He flew out his last time up. The batter, shortstop, Carlos Guillen. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. And the pitch. And he misses with it one and one. That's taken by Guillen. Two balls and a strike. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Might have swung a ball four that time, but he'll take the base hit over the walk any day. So a runner at first with two away, and in steps trouble in the person of Gary Sheffield. The batter, left fielder, Gary Sheffield. First pitch coming. Hard hit towards center, and that's in there, base hit. No wasting any time there, Matt. He gets the fastball to begin the at-bat and just shoots it right back where it came from. Magli Ordonez will try it again. He flew out his first time. The batter, right fielder, Magli Ordonez. Here's the first offering. Too low, 1-0. He'll look for something a little higher. Two men are on with two men out. One-zero pitch is right there, but ruled a ball. Two and zero. Swing and a line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. Oh, that's four straight hits he's surrendered now. And that's a good job by the catcher to go out there and try and calm him down. Bases are loaded here, two men gone, and here comes Pudge. Now batting, catcher, Yvonne Rodriguez. First pitch on the way. And, oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Boy, and he's about to lose his mind out there on the mound. Bad time to shrink that strike zone now. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. And when you're spotting fastballs there, you are tough to hit. On the ground for Roland. And that's through into left, a base hit. Two runs have scored. 
Well, that's 18 pitches now in the inning, and on a hot afternoon like this, it's easy to start getting worn down out there. He's got to come back and try to get out of this. Sean Casey will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now batting, first baseman, Sean Casey. And here's the ball out towards straightaway center field. And Edmonds will put this one away like so, and that will be that. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Detroit is out in front, three to nothing. Chris Carpenter makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Swing and a liner. And Guillen will throw him out for the first down of the inning. David Eckstein will step in. A base hit in his last time. Here's the pitch. Fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Swing shot back up the middle. And that'll get down for a base hit. Looked like a fastball that time. Started out in the outside part of the plate, but he's able to get the bat head through and wrap it up the middle for the base hit. Chris Duncan will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. The batter, left fielder, Chris Duncan. First pitch coming. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. And, and now we'll see the infield shift into double play depth right here. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Not the greatest of starts for him here this afternoon. He has looked pretty overmatched in his first two at-bats, both strikeouts. Albert Pujols will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ball 1. Yeah, and he'll lay off there and just take what's given to him. Oh, looked good on the monitor, but it's 2-0. and oh. And there's the first strike, 2-1. and one. And even into his 40s now, the gambler still got a little giddy up on that fastball. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. Sheffield is back to the track, though, as he pulls it in and a sigh of relief.